And so Allah says, فَأَقِيمُوا الصَّلَاةَ وَآتُوا الزَّكَاةَ وَاَعْتَصِمُوا بِاللَّهِ He says, establish the prayer and give zakat. Establish the prayer and give zakat is actually a beautiful expression in the Qur'an for many things. But actually, they're connected to each other. When you establish the prayer, that means you pray together. And when you pray together, you get to know each other. And when you get to know each other, you find the ones among you who have needs. You figure out who's in need and who's not doing well and who's sick and who's you know, unwell and who's you know, having difficulty in life. And then you find out who should you give zakat to. They're connected to each other. Establish prayer and give zakat. Because establishing prayer builds the hearts closer to each other before Allah. And then you purify your wealth by taking care of those in need among you. فَأَقِيمُوا الصَّلَاةَ وَآتُوا الزَّكَاةَ وَاَعْتَصِمُوا بِاللَّهِ And hold on to Allah. That amazing phrase at the end, hold on to Allah, is the last thing I'll explain and I'm done. When Allah says, hold on to Allah, i'tisam actually means to hold on to something that if you let go, you'll die. Hold on tight. For isma, isma means protection. I'tisam is to hold on for protection. Like imagine if you fell off of a boat or a, or a ship or something, and the only thing you're holding on to is the rope or the anchor. If you let go of it, you're done. Allah says, hold on to Allah for dear life. You know what that means, right? That means if my, the people around me abandoned me, if the people that were around you, that you were practicing deen because your friends were religious, and you were in a good environment, now you're in college, and you're the only Muslim there. You're like, man, my friends aren't there anymore, so I don't feel so inclined towards Islam anymore. I don't really feel like praying anymore. I don't really feel like, you know, I don't have that connection anymore. No, no, no. Whether people hold on to you or not, whether the support system is there or not, this is why we're the legacy of Ibrahim alayhi salam. He, he, that young man held on to his religion and he was the only one holding on to his religion. There was no support around him. His family didn't support him. His society didn't support him. He's a one-man nation. That's why Allah calls him an ummah by himself. A nation by himself. And we are his following. You know what that means? That we don't make the excuse that the environment around us is bad. And that's why we don't submit to Allah. That our friends are messed up, and that's why we're messed up. That man, you don't know what my crowd is like. Who cares what your crowd is like? You're the legacy of Ibrahim alayhi salam. You're the only light in the middle of all the darkness. You don't make the excuses. You're there to get rid of darkness, not to be part of it. That's, the, yeah, that's your function. وَاَعْتَصِمُوا بِاللَّهِ هُوَ مَوْلَاكُمْ He is your protective friend. He is your security. He is the one that's going to guard you. فَنِعْمَ الْمَوْلَى وَنِعْمَ النَّصِيرِ what an incredible protection he, he is. What a, uh, an amazing protective guardian he is. And what an amazing aid he is. But the word nasir comes from the Arabic word nusra. Some of you are familiar. The word nasr in the Arabic language isn't just help. It's actually massive aid. If I help you outside because you have a flat tire, I don't say nasartuka, I say saadtuka. I helped you. Nusra is like an aid package. Billions of dollars are being given to some country in aid. That's Nusra. A huge army came to help a country that's been invaded. That's Nusra. Nusra is not a small kind of help. It's massive legions of help. It's like when Allah will send armies of angels. That's called Nusra. That's Nusra. That's the aid of Allah. The massive aid of Allah. Allah is saying, he, Naseer, the, the fa'il form, actually means, how amazing is Allah? That He's always there, ready to aid you in the most massive ways. When you have held on to Allah, you've held on to the strongest possible support you could have that is constant. فَنِعْمَ الْمَوْلَى وَنِعْمَ النَّصِيرِ You have nothing left to worry about. This is the mentality of someone who accepts the legacy of the religion of their father, Ibrahim alayhi salam. And when you accept that, then struggling for Allah becomes easy. Then he opens up those doors. وَجَاهِدُوا فِي اللَّهِ Allah Azza wa says, وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِينَا لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُبُولَنَا Those who struggle in our path, we open up our pathways for them. We guide them to our multiple pathways. Absolutely. Allah will make it a way out for you. This struggle that I keep referring to is different from each, for each one of you. Some of you have struggles inside the family. Some of you have struggles at work or having to do with money. Some of you are struggling with your health. Some of you are struggling with your religion itself. Barely holding on to your religion itself. Barely holding on to Allah Himself. Some of you are struggling to get away from haram. 
When you decide to struggle away from the way of shaitan and towards Allah, Allah's help is constantly there. He does not abandon you. We think he abandons us. Shaitan comes and tells us, you're so messed up. Allah, never, Allah doesn't like you. He's going to burn you in hell, etc., etc. He wants you to lose connection with Allah. And Allah comes along and says, no. Allah is there when you turn to him. He's going to be there and he's going to constantly be there to provide his support.